All right, boys and girls, welcome back to another video and welcome to the apartment. This video is the second part of the video that I shot with my sister, the first part of which you can watch now if you wanted to, and then you can come back to this. I'll put a link to it in the corner and in the description. But you're probably thinking, Lewis, hey, you're in the apartment. Why are you wearing sunglasses? Well, in that video, I said this. These uh, sunglasses are made by a company called Flying Eyes, who are a partner of Ludix Aviation now. Not only can you get 10% off the sunglasses, use code LUDIX, okay, that's that's not the point of what I'm saying. What I want to do is I want to do a giveaway. I'm only going to do the giveaway in the next video if this video hits, let's do 700 likes. 700 likes, if we get it, I'll do a giveaway for a flying... We'll do a giveaway in the next video, okay? There's your target. And you absolutely smashed it. Thank you for uh, 700 likes on that video, which obviously means you people want a flying eyes. Can you hear me? A flying eyes sunglasses giveaway. I'm not giving this away, this is mine. They sent me this for Christmas, basically a Christmas present, so this ain't going anywhere. But we're gonna do a flying eyes sunglasses giveaway at the end of this video. So watch the flying in the video. It's me and my sister going doing a couple of landings at Orlando Executive. You're gonna love it. Watch it, enjoy it. I'll be back at the end for the giveaway. Stick around until then. I don't know, traffic, uh, check 32042, back taxi in runway 09 for a departure towards the uh, southeast, all on north. That was fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was fun. See, I would have never have done that. I know we used to go on holiday, like, all the time and we'd fly all the time, but I was always scared. Right. And I went through, like, five years of where I didn't fly back to England because I was just so afraid of flying. Ah, uh, right, right, And then right. I came in the plane with you that time and it just totally got rid of you all of my anxiety. Yeah. Everything is controllable, but when you're not in control and you don't see it, like you're sat in the back of a plane or whatever, and, uh, yeah. and whatever, it's like you've got no control. Exactly. But when you see how actually fairly simple it is to control an aeroplane, like doing normal stuff, right? Like it, it makes you feel better. But you took me up that time and totally all of my fears are just gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. I like that. That's a good lesson for people watching as well. But you can get over that fear. Yep. You just gotta force yourself to do it. Exactly. Put, yeah. Put yourself into that position and see how things go because it's the fear of the unknown that does it. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Same thing with stalls. Like, you were afraid of doing a stall. Yeah, because I, had, in my, I didn't remember how to do it. Right, so exactly. I don't have that control. Exactly. But all I told you to do was just push the nose down and it recovered yeah. itself, you know? Boosh. On and off traffic check, 32042 taking off runway 09 and southeast departure all on and off. Alrighty, hold the brakes, get as much power as we can because it's a short runway. As much power, everything's green, green, green. Here we go, let's roll. Are you doing it? Yeah, yeah, I got All it. Alright, I'm recording then. Sounds good. <laughs> cool, coming up 55 is when I'm going to rotate. 55, and I want to maintain around 58. Welcome back to the sky. Short field takeoff. 400 feet above, we'll clear the obstacles. Got a nice positive rate, one notch flaps goes out. 200 feet above, second notch of flaps. Sweet! Ah, Chris! <laughs> come on now, Jesse! Come on, Jesse! Get the ball! <laughs> I like young boys! <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, paedophiles. No, no. <laughs> Let's go home. No. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, and I say this a lot, like when you're a flight instructor, you do all this, you, you're using your words, you don't get to practice it. Yeah. Which is why I don't, like, I like coming out and doing shit like this, because I get to practice and I get to show myself that I know what I'm doing. That first steep spiral, I wasn't happy with it. So you said, well, go up and do it again. Yeah, that's exactly right. Cancel it, go up and do it again. Well, I know you, you'd have been overthinking all day. Absolutely. Exactly. I'm going to do one landing. And then, yeah. Do you want to try one? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so I'll, I'll do one. Yeah. And then I'll talk you through the next one. Sweet. Trying to figure out where I am. Uh, around a popka. Oh, that's why I don't know. I've never yeah. really been. Uh, yeah. Otto lives up here now. He lives just on the just on that side of the lake. Oh, hello, Otto. Yeah. <laughs> off, Otto. <laughs> We've never liked you. <laughs> like. Oh, the horse riding arena. Sorry, you don't exist right now. Uh, take a picture. Right, carry yeah. on. Carry on. Yeah.
Except your turn, uh, Cherokee 32042. About nine miles northwest, Quebec, uh, touch and goes. Cherokee 32042, exec tower, enter left base, runner A7, and continue. Left base for seven, and we'll continue. 042. Cherokee 042, number two to follow Skyhawk, be my numbers. He's doing a full stop. You're clear, touch and go. On the go, make left track. All right, got the traffic in sight. We're number two, clear touch and go, left traffic on the go, 042. Alrighty, fuel pump landing light mixture full. Uh, everything's good, that's fine. Flaps required. I'll do the first one. I'll okay, that goes swing us back around and then talk you through the other one. Yeah, it's a cool view coming in over downtown though. <laughs> Sorry. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like Eola. Yeah. Most overrated yeah, I know. place on earth. It's full of duck <laughs> on the path. I know, I don't like the <laughs> Yeah. So I was walking the other day and there were these two birds sat on a lamppost. <laughs> Did you get shot on? It like landed right in front of me, so it splattered up my leg. Oh, disgusting! Alright, runway is there, I'm gonna go last notch of flaps. Alright, so the approach speed we're looking for is between 60 and 65. So I've got my power back for the altitude, bring that altitude down. Once I get the altitude that I want back on glide, gonna add a little bit of power. I'm at 65. My nose is pointing towards the runway. This is where we wanna be. This is how you do, do it. Now, 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 now. <laughs> All right, speed's gone a little bit fast because I left the power in a little bit too long. I'm gonna aim to put this bird on the <laughs> on the uh, on the big white blocks there. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the power back now. Oh. Cessna 294, you got a minute. Until we get to the blocks. Yes, we will take that on your, uh, ADS We're doing a touch and go. Or your yeah. um, um, iPad, whatever it is you okay. use. Here we go. Do you see the call sign of the plane you're following ahead of you? 65. I don't see a way to do it. I'm Welcome back to the sky. Out. So I'll swing this back around and I'll talk you through the, oh God, what you're going to do. All right, yeah. They have not flown for like three and a half, four weeks. Oh yeah, you've got, oh yeah, yeah. I'm, your cr I'm your test yeah, dummy, I'm Yeah, like. exactly. If you can do it with your sister on board, you can do it with anybody on board. Oh yeah. That sounded really wrong. Oh god. Disgusting! Alright, here we go. Your controls. Cherokee 042, um, I got those two landing and one to depart. So you got a choice. Either extend downwind or right 360, advise. We'll extend the downwind for 042. 042, uh, you know what? Extend the downwind to Lake Eola. That'll be enough space. Base like approved there. Lake Eola. We'll do the base. 042. Perfect. All right. So, pull the power back until it's about 1700. Now. Yeah. Shock 8 Echo Golf. Uh, turn pull left Echo back. Alpha 6. Uh, Beautiful. And, uh, Beautiful. 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 One notch of flaps. So, pull the Echo flaps up. And what you're going to want to do is start descending. So, push that nose down. And then I'll help you out with a little bit of trim. Thank you. So just keep this nose down. You're attempting to maintain 80 knots. So you see the nose is, oh sorry, the, the uh, airspeed's going a bit high. I'm going to pull that power back a little bit more. All right, so on the inside. On the inside, yeah, right. yeah. So right there, and now you see it's going too low. So just push down a little bit. That's going to help you descend. Perfect. Antel 042 is full stop. Cherokee 042, roger that. One departing prior to arrival. We'll call you number two, runway seven, clear land. Number two, runway seven, clear land. Uh, 042, thanks. Perfect. So when we're at Lake Eola, you can turn left. So just keep us straight for now. That way. Yeah, yeah. All right, turn now. Beautiful. You're going to turn to like a uh, heading of that. So that is so cool. Um, good talking. Sweet. Turn left at Echo, yeah. ground point four. Five. Beautiful. So now roll those wings level. Beautiful, very nice. So you can pull the second notch flaps in. Now we're trying to maintain 75 knots. You see how when you put the flaps in, the nose raised? Yeah, so push it down. Push it down a little bit and you can help yourself a little bit trim. I've got you the beautiful. Oh, okay, I see the runway. Got the runway, perfect. So what I want to see if you can do is li if you can line up with that uh, that runway when the time comes. We've got a guy that's taking the runway, he's going to take off. You your airspeed is perfect. Yes, mate. Beautiful. Now the trick is, on the short final, when we're close to the runway, you want to be at 65 knots. You want to get over the runway. We want to pull the power back and then just slowly pull the nose up. I'll help you out with it. But I want to see if you can do it. Okay, so we're a little bit high. So you can pull the power back a little bit. Oh, power, not power. nose. Yeah, there you go. Last notch of flaps. But pull it up. Oh, sh. Yeah, yeah, give it a good pull. Give it a good yank. And we're a little bit high, so I'm going to push that nose down. And 
I'm actually going to help you out with a little bit. That's okay, I just want to steer. Yeah, yeah, you got <laughs> it. I'll do the bum bit. Help you out with a little, oh, sh a little bit of a slip. Sorry, I'll, let, I'll let go. No, no, you're fine. I just want to get us back into a nice position because it's a little bit high. Yo, know, I ain't trying to seagull it under the runway. <laughs> there you go, you got it. Uh, so cool, just keep this keep this angle, keep this nose pointing where it is on the runway. I'll kind of help you out with power. Kind of help you out a little bit, there you go, level that off. So the airspeed now is actually looking fine where it is, just keep that nose oh, towards gosh. the runway. Keep the nose towards the runway. There you go, that's perfect. So at, at a certain point when I tell you, we're just going to slowly pull up and kind of pull the nose up to keep it where it is, uh, where the, the end of the runway is. Not okay. yet, not yet, not when yet. I tell you. So looking good, airspeed's fine. We're not going to need any more power from here. Are we going fast? Slowly pull back, just very slowly. Kind of hold it, get it in that sweet spot. Slowly pull back. Pull it back, pull it back. <laughs> nearly crashed. <laughs> no, we're close, close to crashing. I got it. <laughs> no, we're close to crashing. But. If you were in flight training, should have pulled it back, pulled it back a little bit more. Yeah. I would have been telling you that. I was but just too soft with it. Just a little bit. You did it. Wind calm. So he's done. I appreciate it. That yeah, was bre you. breaking planes right left center. It's okay. I've landed yeah, flaps, landing light, fuel pump mixture, trip. Been nice. I'll see you in another year. Yeah. Yeah. Should be good. See you next Christmas. Yeah. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. That is literally the worst handwriting. Why is it so difficult to write on a whiteboard? All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the apartment. You, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Flying Eyes giveaway. One of you lucky people could be the new owners of a pair of Flying Eyes Kingfishers, or you could be the brand new owners of some Flying Eyes Kestrel Aviators. So here's how this is gonna work. First rule, you must be subscribed to Ludix Aviation. That's a must, okay? You gotta be a subscriber of the channel. Second rule, you've got to like this video. You got 700 likes on the previous video, which is why we're doing this now. The third rule is, after you've done all that, I want you to comment in the comment section, because where else would you comment? You've got to tell me why you think you deserve some free flying eyes sunglasses, okay? And I want you to be as creative as humanly possible. And that's it, it's as simple as that. For extra credit, you could follow me on Instagram, which you'll find my information right here. You can also follow flying eyes on Instagram, which you can see here. Hopefully that's in, in the view, you can see both of us. Um, that's for extra credit. There's the three rules again. First of all, you need to be subscribed to Ludix Aviation. Second of all, you need to like the video. Third, you must comment and tell me why you think you deserve a free pair of flying eye sunglasses. So I'm going to take the names of all those commenters. I'm going to put them into a bag, a hat or whatever. I, I don't know, headset bag. I had no idea what I'm going to, I'm going to use. But And in the next video, I'm going to sit down with you again because i got something that I want to talk to you about. Okay, a clue to that is um, here. Oh, by the way, that's the finalized logo. I love it. Pow. Don't do that in a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and don't miss that. I think the way that I'm going to contact the winner is to get whoever I announce as the winner to shoot me an email so we can talk through email because I need to get a, a shipping address and you also need to choose which sunglasses you want. It, it doesn't have to just be out of these two. There's plenty of other options on the Flying Eyes website. So yeah, cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I look ridiculous.